So welcome to the Anfield boot room. Um, football manager is just loading up. Here it is. And here we are. It's the end of the season. It's the 16th of May. It's the FA Cup final. Here's what's going on. Uh, Liverpool are up against former manager Brennan Rodgers, um, who has done quite well to get Southampton to the FA Cup final because they are in the championship. Ha ha. Uh, I don't know actually how they're doing in the championship. Oh, they're in the playoff final. Oh, that's disruptive. Um, Okay, well done them. So could get Cardiff or Southampton? That's fairly dull. Leighton Orient are already coming up. Yes, please. Um, And anyway, I've already found myself on a tangent. Great. Um, So in this video, we'll be looking at these two fixtures at the bottom here, the FA Cup final and then the Champions League final against AS Monaco. Um, We last recorded up here at the Capital One Cup final. Uh, That went quite well. Uh, I then went on a good run, uh, beat City 3-0. Uh, a, oh no, this wasn't the last minute goal. There was a last minute goal at, at a different time. But yeah, a 1 0 win at Derby in the sixth round. That really made me nervous. Because um, we. I mean, they were not good. But, you know, when the opposition's not good and then they score a goal in the last minute and, you know, makes it all a bit dicey. But yeah, this was a, a tip top team as well uh, who essentially failed to be tip top. When Aralaga, best player in the world, played rubbish. He did, But I mean. He scored 46 goals this season, so he's very rarely played rubbish. Just every now and then, when he's not scoring four goals, he plays a little bit rubbish. Then he scores, he scores three goals, plays a bit rubbish, scores four the next week, um, which is great, obviously. Um, so yeah, there, where was I? Derby, then Olympiacos. Yeah, smashed that because we'd only won the first one, two, one at home, four nil. Then went on to. Uh, a bit of Everton, they got Virgil van Dijk sent off in the 11th minute. Great stuff. Uh, Andy Unsworth again getting a goal. He's looking like a little young Michael Owen sort of lad, uh, except a bit bigger. Uh, Tottenham, double, double Tottenham uh, with an international break in the middle. Um, so we smashed them first time 5-0, and that was with a bit of a mixed team. Mainly great, but some young, like Jordi Pinner. Uh, and then... With a very mixed team, we beat them 3-0. So clearly Tottenham are not really at the races. I don't know where they're on the table. 11th under Moyes. So yeah, that's that's why they're, they're not looking great. Hoffenheim, first leg, 6-0. Away victory, kind of um, taking out any, any aspect of uh, jeopardy that there might have been. Uh, did still play the the backup brigade uh, in a one nil victory at Sunderland. That was the last nil victory, the last nil, the last minute victory. Um, we'd still done. They had not had a single shot on target. We'd had obviously more. They had hit the woodwork though. But yeah, in all that, we managed to not create any clear cut chances. But yeah, Zé Luis popped up. I brought him on, and he popped up with an absolute banger uh, of a long shot in the last minute. So that was good. Just keep keep the keep it ticking over. Uh, again, comfortable uh, against Hoffenheim, 2-0 win. Uh, smashed. Oh, yeah, this was when I started realising that um, we were going to score the most goals in Premier League history, potentially. So um, previously, I've got, if I show you. So the record was, um, I think it was 100 and, 128, 128 goals. And it was in the same year as Blackpool conceded 125 which does raise questions about it was Villa as well does raise questions about the Villa backpool game um but yeah we've got we've got close to it before so if I show you we we'd got real close so for instance there I was gutted um that we didn't get it and you know we've been pretty free scoring usually so 121 goals that sort of thing that's quite high uh, all the while conceding 15, which is out- outrageous, really. But this season, we have absolutely outdone ourselves. We scored 142 goals. We've put in 11 against Arsenal <laughs> and Chelsea. <laughs> oh, God, that's brilliant. So it, you can't say we've not done well against the top six because we've put in 11 against Arsenal. We've all, yeah, we poured misery on Sheffield United. That's fair. And Nottingham Forest. So we we take the top of the table and also the bottom of the table and smash them all. 
Um, but yeah, we've scored a ridiculous number of goals. So if I take you back to where I was, um, I thought it was a bit of a lull. And then the FA Cup semi-final against Portsmouth, who were also in the championship. Um, so I thought, oh, great, we can smash loads of goals in in these games. So the first one worked perfectly. Uh, Nottingham Forest absolutely got steamrolled. And then away at Derby, they had another bloody loss. And this is a good team out there. There's no weakness in this team. Um, but yeah, Malcolm, formerly of this parish. Absolutely outrageous. The penalty, of course, wasn't a penalty. Uh, that came out in the press afterwards because I was bitter about it. Um, but yeah, they had one clear-cut chance. We had two. We had one off the woodwork. We had double their number of shots, basically double their number of on target. Um, yeah. We were better than them. We got more passes and more completed. Oh, no, more completed, but not as many. Um, more t percentage of tackles won, great percentage of headers. Um, but somehow we came off worse. And, you know, they're like their team, like two guys played well, Malcolm and uh, Dil Rosen, who aren't great. And like... Arulaga, poor game. Esparza, poor game. Milton, poor game, which never happens. Alagaya, poor game. Heskey came on and didn't make a difference. <sighs> so it was a bit rubbish. And another loss. That's three losses this season, all in the league as well, which is, I mean, we so we've been free scoring, but actually this isn't going to be our top points total. Um, if I'm now looking at the right. Yes, I am. So yeah, that was 99 points is not our top points total by miles. Because we've had, what we had, you know, 102, there, 101, 101, 107. That was great. We only lost one game. Uh, 102, but we didn't lose any, which is great. Um, so, yeah, to have lost three games but scored 142 goals is quite an odd thing. Um, but, yeah, so inex inexplicable loss against Derby. We then recovered and smashed Portsmouth 6-0. Some young players there, Marcelo Bosi. I said I didn't know how he was going to go at the start of the season. He's played 15, scored 15, which is quite good. And he's got nine assists. And he got man of the match four times. So I'm thinking he is quite good. I'm not quite sure where to play him because I've now, I've, if we go back to him, I've made him too flexible. So he can play on the left wing. He can play as a playmaker. He can also play up front, which is something that I trained just this season because I noticed how good at finishing he is. He's basically as good as like Origi at finishing, basically. Um, although Origi's have come back from injury, so don't judge him too harshly. But I mean, the comparison is not not mad. Uh, he's only five foot four, which makes me laugh. But yeah, so he's had a good season. Um, God, where am I now? Uh, I was looking through the schedule. There we go. So then we got Arsenal in the Champions League semi-final. Uh, they helpfully had Cesar Herrera, formerly of this parish, sent off. I did think Arsenal might be a bit of a tricky one because they're, they've they got a good team. They've got quite a few of my former players. But we did them 2-0 away. Uh, we then went on to beat Fulham 5-0 despite having someone sent off in the eighth minute. I just It was one of my central defensive midfielders and I just played a diamond in midfield. So three at the back, diamond in midfield, two up front, and we scored five goals <laughs> against Fulham, who are seventh. They're no mugs. Oh, dear. Then we smashed Hull 6-0, beat Arsenal at home 5-0. Um, that was glorious. One hour lager, absolutely on fire. Uh, and then look at Stoke 4-0, Arsenal 4-0, Reading 4-0. Um, and that was resting players as well. So now we come to the double final. So we'll have both finals. And then in case I lose one and or both, uh, which hopefully won't happen, I've got funny names to back up and uh, make, make me happy. Um, right, cool. I think, should we do something a bit more boring before that? And just look over the look over the squad quick? Because it's probably quite quite interesting i mean to me yeah it might not be interesting for everyone i find it interesting and this is my recording so you know back off um top performing goalkeeper obviously wesley turkish bay didn't play as much as he could have but um played played enough for certain um i don't know if he played he did play more last season uh but only just same number of clean sheets uh, so he's good he's good he's proved himself really 
as a Premier League keeper of good quality. Uh, Jorn Deckers is there. I don't know who wants him. Arsenal, of course, they bloody do. I'm not going to sell him to them. Idiot. He's great. Um, underused, you might say. Oh, I've skipped defenders. Uh, so, yeah, George Alagaya obviously is amazing. Strong P also has really come on and realised his potential. He's a world-class centre-back and he's had a world-class season. Um, Dirty Sanchez has been a great backup despite being um, technically a lot less good than Emperor Nero. Uh, he plays really, really well, uh, but Emperor Nero is my starting, preferred starting option. Uh, the backup brigade, Sewell's unhappy, Adair is unhappy. Uh, they're both good guys, and I think they both have contracts running out next season, is it? Yeah, so I'm not not really sure, because I've had them both with me a long time, and I want to get that long-serving player retired thing going on. But So I might have to try and make one of them happy or something, because, I mean, they have been with me for absolutely donkeys. Look at that! Great value as well. <laughs> um of the young guys, they're, do, they're still getting over sevens. So Vachka's played 20 times, 17 off the bench. Yuri Pinner, about half of that. So they're getting good minutes, I think, um, which is nice. So defensive midfielders, top one, one-ton Gil. It's weird with one-ton Gil because, obviously, physically, he's ridiculous. He could, he could, he's not good jumping, but he's still pretty good in the air. He can run, he can tackle, he can pass, he's great decisions. Um, but there are actually players who are kind of better at certain aspects. So they're either better at attacking or better, better at attacking or better at defending, rather. You know, they've got better vision. But I think it's just because he's got it all. I don't really know. But yeah, his, his average ratings are always absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, there we are. So, uh, who else? Guido Hoyos is um, going to be more prevalent. I'm going to make him less unhappy. And, oh, no, he's already signed a new contract. Oh, well, he signed a new contract and then immediately got unhappy. What an idiot. Um, so, for instance, this is what I'm talking about. So, you know, Hoyos is a bit better in the air, a bit better technically, a bit better uh, at defending. But one time Gil, it's just you can't match him for um, average rating. So Paul Pogba, obviously. Old man Pogba. Old man Pogba. Oh dear. Um, I've not had him for quite as long. And he did cost a lot of money, but he was the missing piece when we won the Champions League. So totes worth it. Um, I have given him a new contract. Another three years. Because he was out at the end of next year. And he's still obviously playing so well, even if he is now declining a little bit. Um... I don't know, I was getting a bit nostalgic and or I was getting contract offering fatigue and so I literally, it's just, everybody got a contract, you get a contract, you get a contract, everybody get a contract. Um, so actually what's happened now is I, I've exceeded my wage budget because uh, I gave everyone a new contract, which might have been wrong of me, but there we are. He's still got that X factor, I believe, um, and he's super cool and I like him a lot. Um, in terms of the youth again, it's the same guys. Uh, Bertie Shard, he didn't really get a lot of games because he's not really as good, but he'll get there. He's a good guy. I like him a lot. Um, right, midfield. I've got to whip through this because otherwise I'm going to get... This is going to be a million years long video. Um, so actually the top performing out-and-out -out attacking midfielder is Marcelo Bossi. Um, which is... Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to put him in the team properly. Um, Memphis and Milton, my right and left wing. Uh, Memphis has deserved a new contract. He's on for another three years. He's absolutely great. Um, bought him for 30 million. Well, I, I think it was initially 20, but with some additions. But obviously, he's more than eclipsed that. Has the vast majority of his 328 appearances and 68 goals uh, have been with me. So he is great. Um, Milton is another one. Actually, yeah, if we look historically, he costs a lot of money. He costs a hell of a lot of money. Because uh, I just knew Man United couldn't have him. I just knew that it would, if they had him, it would be a mistake. And even, you know, they were playing him up front. He could have been a great scorer of goals. I think he's a great left winger. I really like him. Uh, obviously, Vladimir Osh is great. Uh, Ali Samir there as well for the for the cam roles. Um, Andre Luiz has been unhappy for most of the season. Um, I think, did he just get left out of the World Cup squad? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll just check quickly. 
Um, because if he has, he's going to be even more annoyed at me. Is he there? Uh, I can't see what colours are what. Uh, no, he's not there. So he's been left out of the World Cup squad. Um, he's not a happy bunny. He's a great player, though. Um, so I want to keep hold of him. Miranda broke his leg, so he's not played. But these guys are all obviously playing really, really well. There's a few super young guys. Um, Thomas, who I have mentioned before, so I'm not going to go into it now. Um, in terms of performance, up front was a, another healthy year. Origi got injured at the end of the season, but still got 37 in 30. Aralaga, 46 in 35. Uh, Tomnik there, very unhappy, um, but still does a great job. And also because Origi's just coming back from injury, he's severely lacking match fitness. Tomnik's going to start um, step into the starting berth, even though, in fact, uh, Esparza has scored more goals than him, really. Um but yeah, I feel like he knocks in four against the likes of Portsmouth and that sort of thing. Andy Unsworth, 15 starts, 27 goals. I just... He's like good. He's really quick. He's not physically unbelievable, but he's very agile, I guess. His technical stats need to up for me. Obviously, he's not great at jumping, but he's great at heading. Determined, good off the ball. So he's kind of like a Rigi. Um... But yeah, just needs to, those technicals to push out a bit. They reckon he's he's world class already, and he's got no potential. I reckon he's not world class and has potential. That's what I reckon. We'll see. Uh, Heskey hasn't really played up front this season. Brinkedo came in in January, scored some goals. I really like him. I've already shown you what a mirror image of Aralaga he is, so he's going to be good. And Cola is great. Um, we did have a bit of an injury crisis. They're all kind of back now, but at one point we had. I think it was Origi, Aralaga, and Esparza or something, all out injured. So three of the top four, basically. So it was a bit of a bum. Um, so that's your squad in review. I'm going to play the game now. I, have, I haven't I uh, have kind of put any soft players in there. Um, I'm welcoming Giacomo Miranda back from injury. I think Origi will probably make the bench for the Champions League final. Because he, he has taken a hit as well because of the injury. I can't remember what he did. Uh, let's have a little look at what he did. Knee ligaments. Uh, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, he should be he should be all right, really. But he's not great. Maybe I'll put him on the bench. Hmm. Hmm. But I don't want to leave Heskey off. Hmm. I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. Trust your gut. Also, I yeah, I haven't made any concessions, but I don't feel we'll need to be at our utmost best to beat Southampton. He says, he, he taps, taps the wood uh, when he says that, because that you know that's a big thing to say before a cup final, you idiot. Uh, the absence of Vladimiros, yeah, he's not injury prone, but he's injured again. Uh, but I've got a fantastic depth of squad. Right, so they have in their team Harry Cardwell. I did check these guys out before the game. He's okay. Vlasic is okay. Kahanoglu is, I mean, poor. Uh, Pasalic, formerly of Chelsea, is poor. Uh, John McAllister is poor. But I'm still going to kick the crap out of him. And Groot de Groot. Mm, let's close him down. Right, and have they got uh, Akinwumi? He's not exciting fullback. Neither is he. They got a familiar face, Joe Joe Gomez, who we all know, um, of Liverpool fame, formerly of the Charlton Academy. His middle name is Dave, not David. Dave, Joseph, Dave Gomez. I was going to say Charlton, but obviously London is, is Charlton. He's Charlton through and through. And also Benjamin Hildebrandt, formerly of this parish. And I made no money on him. One of the few players that I've actually made no money on. Right, let's check out the bench. Uh, Carl Leach is useless. Peter Brown is... Uh, he's okay. Um, so I'll do something about him if he should come on. Uh, mainly kick the crap out of him. Ladislav Michal, I remember. I don't know if that's because he used to play for me or I, I scouted him at one point. He is also okay. Um, Chris McHardy, I don't recognise. He's 
normal. Uh, Cucurella. Is, is he the one who used to play for like Liverpool or something? I don't know. Barcelona. Fine. And I'm not even going to... Hoshin Guesbawai. Guesbawai. God's sake. Well, he's fine. Let's close him down. So he's got a bit of dribbling and a bit of crossing. And I don't like that. Right. Um, for the fans. Oh, it worked a little bit. Yay. I like getting for the fans going. Because they never like for the fans. And I feel like the fans deserve some stuff. Right, good. We've made most everyone happy. Uh, Tornick's st still grumpy, but still great. He's really good at the football, and he scores the goals, and he's six foot seven. And I mean, we all like that. Emperor Nero probably sp spread the play, mate. Wesley. No. Okay. Interesting play. Memphis outright. Tucks it back in. Samir. We're not exactly getting the penetration right now, but that's a good ball out to the left. Milton's been mugged by Nathaniel Klein there. Out to Nikola Vlasic. Probably should be able to get a hold of him. Well done, Pog. We're not getting that final ball. Is Right, there we go. A little bit of action. Tall Nick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. First five minutes. Absolute stinger there. And uh, hits the bar. That's what Tall Nick does. We went through a, a period earlier of about three games where we all we scored within within the eighth minute. So like not you know in the first eight minutes it was like eight minutes something, and we did that three times in a row, three games in a row. I would try and find it, but I think it probably it would not be exciting video viewing. Um, but that's not happened today. We have hit the bar. Great ball through by Tall Nick Aralaga, unaccountably. Smashing it wide, but we're getting a lot of chances, and that's what I like. Tee it back to Pog. Pog. Oh, Pog put it back to Emperor Nero to have a long shot. That's unusual. Strong Pete. Pog. Pog, why are you not shooting, man? He's so good at long shots. When he shoots, they. I mean, when he shoots, they sometimes go in. Um, they don't always go in, but I'm excited for him to shoot. Memphis as well has been scoring a sensational number of free kicks, having not really scored that many goals in, in a few years. Uh, he's really getting them in now. Right, I'm just going to go quickly attacking because I'd like to score before half time. And it will annoy me to go into the break at nil-nil. That will make me... I actually, I tell you, oh yes, please. Didn't even make the tactical change. And we've got a goal. Excellent one. Well done. Harry Lager. Harry Beer. There he is. Scoring a goal. Best player in the world. 47 goals now this season. Absolute hero. Came from a tackle. Milton. Did, did Nathaniel Klein a bit. Aralaga just got up there. He's the reincarnation of Fernando Torres. And oh, now I'm going to sit back and relax. Because I'm glad about that. All right, let's see what they got. See if they can do anything. Um, not so far. Great flick on from Aralaga. If Tall Nick had been on that. Great tackle, one time Gill. That's what he does. And again, oh, a bit too, bit too ferociously. And he's got a yellow. I'll just have a word in his ear at half time just to chill out a bit. <clears throat> All right, here we go. On the break, Pogba, Memphis, Aralaga. Plays it through. Tall Nick. Yes, please. That's the one. 26 goal of the season. How can you be unhappy when you're so tall and you score so many goals? He was perfectly in line with whoever had his hand up in the air. It was probably Joe Gomez. Um, and yes, that's the one. Right, okay. So we can chill back out again now. Two yellows for our, for our defensive midfielders. Um, actually, I'm going to bring on someone. Shall I bring on someone? Hmm. I want to bring on Miranda, obviously, because he needs experience. I've not really got anyone else like that on the bench. So it's more just about saving people. One Tongue Gill looks like he needs saving. But obviously Miranda doesn't play central defensive midfield. What I could do is that, that. This is, oh, this might go a bit shonky. I th mm, yeah, I'll just do it because I do what I want. I'm tuning up, tuning up. Ali Samir using his creativity and pace to play deep line playmaker. Uh, not an organised thing that I'd usually do, but I didn't want to have 
a weak bench. Hang on, I'll just have a word with Pog to chill out. Um, right, there's a lot more to come from you. Uh, there's a lot more to come from you. And also, strikers, yeah, go do it. Um, I wouldn't usually do something so shonky, but um, I, I feel that it, I'm reasonably relaxed about this game, and I, I don't mind um, kind of saving one ton gill. I think that's quite a good move. Right, what I'm going to do now is do some more subs. Who needs saving? It looks like Ali Samir and Paul Pogba, although Tall Nick is not doing great. Hmm. Is Ali Samir going to start in the final? Yes, he is. So is Paul Pogba. So is Tall Nick. Probably. So let's save Ali Samir. Mm. Who's got better natural fitness? Because that is about recovery rate. He's got 18. He's got 15. So right, off Pogba comes uh, for the old Hoyos. He's a good lad. Yeah, I had to look that up ages ago, and it stuck with me um, about what natural fitness actually means. Um, so it's about recovery rate post-match. So Tornick, does he have good recovery? 15. So actually, I'm going to take off. So Ali Samir has great recovery. So I'm just going to bomb on Emiliano Heskey. Um, and there we go. So it's 2-0. Got the rest of the game. I've already saved who I want to save. Um... That's good. I'm pretty chilled. They've not had a shot on target. The second half has been dull as dishwater. Good God. Right, I'm going to go overload for the last five minutes just to try and get something happening. Just try and, even if they score, I don't mind. That has been the dullest second half. Just as well, there's another cup final coming. Christ. Um, when I say even if they score, I won't be happy if they score. Right. Is this what overload looks like? Because I'm not impressed so far. Right, go on. Yeah, throwing people. Uh, well, there we go. We won the FA Cup. Yay! Um, great play by Arulaga. Good lad there. Um, let's go passionate. Congratulations, boys. Enjoy these moments. You deserve it. Yeah. 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 It's all Nick doesn't like it because he came off. He's such a twat. Um, <laughs> so, a dominant display. We played... It was almost like we played when we needed to. Um, which is fine. So now we have to play on. So let's just deal with the recriminations. Um, Aralaga... So this is this will be... Uh, we come back in. Yeah, because we had a, a year off the FA Cup. Because someone did us in like the fourth round or something um yeah an unbelievable quintuple so what are they counting for that so the fa cup the capital one cup club world championship the european super cup the english community shield also the league so it's a sextuple um and i'm hoping to claim the septuple uh, and win the champions league as well so we'll see yeah a three nil humbling of uh hull a comprehensive six nil triumph versus portsmouth a, a comfortable seven nil humbling of peterborough yeah I mean, to be fair it was all pretty comfortable in the fa cup this season in the final i got some from the championship in the semis i got some from the championship let's see show filters if i put just right if i just put just the fa cup who was the best team i played oh man city by miles yeah, I didn't get oh Derby all right, but yeah, didn't didn't get very good teams basically. Um, that's interesting. So there we go. I got I got went down easy street in the uh, FA Cup this year, and that's fine. Right, Tall Nick and Aaron are particularly impressed. Excellent stuff. Been in charge for many years now. Yes, <laughs> I love it here. I never want to leave. And it, it they did just give me a new contract. Well, I asked for a new contract, admittedly. Um. I love this competition. The magic of the cup. Mm. You masterminded something. What are your immediate reactions? Great. Uh, you guided your team all the way to the final. Fantastic success. Ooh, it tastes nice. What do you think of the final? Um, 
Um, I thought, admittedly, I thought it was a poor game. Our fans and the people watching this video, or and or person, people, I hope. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to say any of those. I'm just going to say I'm really happy. Um, oh no! I accidentally said the, the the hubristic answer of with the squad we have, nobody could stand in our way. With the draws we had, nobody could stand in our way. I think that's more like it. Um, the squad's grey. Aralag is the best. There we go. Get just under two million. You know, so we're we're busy paying off uh, the fact that I gave everyone new contracts. So. <laughs> Liverpool board are pleased. That means they are a whole 65% pleased. Idiots. Um, Hamburg is doing well. According to Kenny Dalglish. Thanks, Kenny. You're, you're a man. Um, and that's all good. Aaron Warren got top goal scorer. It must have been in the early rounds, as was the assists for Mike Harding, both of whom are bad. Portsmouth got to the semis. Good lads. Uh, Cheltenham Town... Wow, I like how they've picked them. Oh, they, they got beat by Osset Town. Oh, wow. That is that who themselves got beat by Hitchin. Oh, dear me. Wow. Um. All right, fun stuff all around. Uh, now we have to actually play through to, uh, to the Champions League final, so this might actually take a little while. Although, actually, there's not many. There shouldn't be much else going on, really. Um... You know, I can't. Well, there's six, 16 things going on. Oh, it's like the World Cup or something. Um, that's annoying. Uh, right, so quality possession for the England 19s. Great stuff. Patrick Swannell got a yellow card. I recognise him because he plays for me. Darren Banton, I believe, plays for Arsenal. No, Crystal Palace. Okay, fine. He's rubbish anyway. He broke his foot. Great. Absolute wank. Um. Yes, these guys are good. Sanabria is still plugging away in... Oh, and Alex came at third. Kuhn. Kuhn is the best rookie. Yes. Went to Nantes. Um, 21 goals in 32 games. That's pretty good. 32 starts, I should say. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good, actually. He's 20. The thing about him is... So he's very quick. Good at dribbling, good at finishing... Uh, great long shots. Also great at crossing and kind of passing. So he's got that aspect to him as well. So he can play on the right wing. They reckon he can play centre mid. That was how he came. I trained him to play right wing. So he's got five caps for Germany as well. Good lad. I bet he's a very wonder kiddy wonder kid. Um, there we are. And uh, Steve Burr. Reading. Was he on line at Reading? Oh, yeah, there we go. Fun times. Um, stars of the season in the league. Mm. Uh, Emre Chan from the other's parish. Yershov from the other's parish. Benali. It'd be easier to tell you who didn't play for us. So Benali and Vallejo also previously playing for us, as well as Sanabria, naturally. Uh, Hungu wins best player, formerly of this parish. Um, so basically, you can't get away from us if you're playing in league. Mm. Um, this is a slightly different stars of the season and 11 of the season. Um, doesn't quite make a difference because we've still got some of our players in there. Kranovita, Sanabria, Ahungu, uh, Vallejo and Benali. Uh, Genoa disappointed with... What? Dio Mateo said he wanted to join PSG. PSG don't have a manager. What? What happened to PSG's manager? Uh, managers, Guardio. They sacked Guardiola. What? Oh, they came fourth. Oh, oh, oh Pep got sacked. Damn son. Despite having the three best average ratings in the league, they came fourth and the top goal scorer. Under Pep, they came fourth. That's hilarious. Oh dear me, how very funny. Um. That's very funny. And Di Matteo has... Uh, he's won titles with Genoa. Genoa genuinely... They didn't win the league this league, uh, this season. But... Um, yeah, they've done, they've done really well previously. So Serie A history, past winners. Yeah, Genoa won twice in a row. So I'm surprised he's not got sacked, to be brutally honest. Um, 
Right, so we had loads of players play internationally. I'll have a quick skip through those, as I always do, because I am a attention to detail kind of guy. They all played pretty well. A few got injured. That's irritating. Um, no, no absolute stars, but a lot of solid performances, so that's really good. Really encouraging. And that's one day down, although half a day even. Christ. Um, so I should probably think of some other things to talk about. So Osasuna got relegated. I don't even, I don't even usually check the squads to be honest these days. Um, you know, if they're not like 16, I don't tend to be that interested. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's attack against Monaco because they they've got a lot of my former former Liverpool players because they've got a lot of money and I don't mind selling to them. Oh yeah, small Tiago. Why do you reckon he's called small Tiago? Because he used to play for me. He's great though. He really. I thought like, oh, he's a left back. I don't really need him, and he is an absolute beast. Um, the thing was about small Tiago. I was gonna train him to be a defensive midfielder, but he's got such great crossing. It seemed like such a waste. So I tried to kind of train him to be a left winger, and then his weak. One of his weaker aspects actually is pace. So that didn't really work. But he's just kind of really good at everything. Although tackling, he's also weak at. So it was just confusing. He's a confusing player. When he was a lot younger, obviously he wasn't as good as this. Um, but Barcelona spent £30 million on him. And he's uh, that's a great buy, to be honest. Although I spent 750 k on him. So, you know, arguably they've got the better end of the deal. But if he'd stayed at my team, we wouldn't have done anything with him. So there you go. Bonazzoli, uh, he's good. So I tried to sign him a long, long time ago. Um, and he was about as good as that, to be honest. Uh, Mesquita. Mesquita? Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. He'd... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's have a little look. The top goal scorers in League 1. Oh, oh, okay. No, I got confused. I thought Mesquita was in there, but he was not. So let's okay, not get carried away now. Uh, Carlos Martinez, is he? Uh, no, I don't think so. Was the other guy? Eduardo Sanchez. No, he used to play for Man United, didn't he? Yes. Hmm. Anyway, sorry, I am going down every rabbit hole now. Bloody hell. Uh, I just, I really like these end of year things. They always make me laugh. Um, so in here we've got small Thiago Tony, uh, and that's it on the bench. Jose Gaia, uh, he's a name I remember. Uh, Kishner we never quite got um, and that's about it uh, Dutch Dell claims football of the year in Germany he is of course formerly of this parish um, Alex Schultz named best newcomer that's funny because he plays for me ha 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 uh, he used to be Brazilian he was a Brazilian German who came from Brazil and uh, then wanted to to emphasize his German roots roots so I changed his nickname um to Schultz so Alexander Jose Schultz um but yeah so he's really great obviously and uh played players newcomer of the year hmm never won that prize before oh except that guy oh and that guy okay no I have won it before fine uh team of the year in the Bundesliga only Dutch Dell in there. Oh, and lots of players that I've looked at and not considered buying, probably. Tarsicio, there we go. There's another one. Uh, good stuff. I dedicate it to Simone. Don't forget who made you, Dutch Dell. Don't forget who made you. I mean, admittedly, we didn't play you like ever, but, you know, we made you. Um, right. Get uh, Bilic, Slavon Bilic been sacked by Ibar. Let's have a quick meeting. God, this is, sorry, this is dragging slightly. Uh, right, time to start off. Scout Argentina. I don't want him in my scout, in my coaching. No, he's not good. Uh, none of those. Sod off. Sod off. Sorted. Right, come on, we can charge through to the 23rd now. Um I've actually, it's, this is a bit weird for me, I've had a bit of time out from my game, because I really charged up to this position where I got to two finals, and then I got very immersed in uh, the game of fellow YouTuber Benjamin Wheatland, 
who uh, is more than likely one of a small number of people watching this video. Um, so I almost feel more part of his world than I do of my own. Oh, for the sake of the Lord. 16-year-old Francesco. Let's hope this doesn't end his very promising world-class potential career. Useless. So this is why you've got to buy and buy this truckload, because they always get broken. Oh, it's bloody Everton as well. Scum. And we beat them. Well, we beat them, so that's fine. Pepe Mel there. Team of the Weeks, no longer matter. It's the end of the season. Mike Bassett reckons Vachka is really good. I agree. He's going the same way as Strong Pete, because I'm training his pace. Where's Strong Pete gone? Strong. There he is. Yep. Training his pace, so he'll tip in the same way as Strong Pete does. Hopefully. That's the hope. Arsenal have sacked Valverde uh, because they came fifth. And I put 11 goals past them. Ha 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 ha. Um, who's, oh no, if they're going to get Pep Guardiola, I'm going to be annoyed. Conte's also available because uh, he got sacked by Stoke. Ha ha ha. Uh, Mourinho was evens to get sacked and he did like, uh, I don't know if there are times on these emails, but like a minute later. Um so Millwall have sacked him for the second time, in fact, which is really funny. Who will take over? Only crap unemployed people. Um, who's next? Probably Cara Deschamps or Nicky Maynard. Oh, brilliant. Oh, this game makes me chuckle. And it's only, see, the thing is, as it gets deeper and deeper in, I think it will just make me chuckle more and more because Ben's really makes me laugh. And I've got another 30 years until until it gets to that point. During which times I may switch teams, but I'm thinking Liverpool are the ones. We are the ones. I want to. I want to do the the Fergie thing and do generational. I've done it a little bit. Liverpool must respect Cranavita. We do. I think he's one of our favoured personnel. He's become synonymous with AS Monaco. Well, he was bloody synonymous with Liverpool before. He's our captain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is he? Is he in there? Uh... I mean, he's not a legend. I think he was favourite person. He must have dropped off now because obviously he left. Um, Messi's in there. Bayano's in there. Tom Nick's in there. Balotelli. And uh, loads of actual, obviously, real people. In the legends pot, you've got Memphis, Aralaga, Origi, Bill Shankly, and Sam Hamburger. Woo! <laughs> uh, love it. Right. Yeah, kind of it. He's well old now, but he's still probably really good. Yeah, look at those mental stats. I mean, look at that. I'm what I'm doing with the the screen right now is just covering the other columns of stats and just looking at that and loving it. He's not very flary, but he's a defensive midfielder, so it doesn't matter. Is he a, what they're going to call him? Experienced. Oh, still tenacious. Grand. Um, all right, let's get through this. Um, da, 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 what are we saying? Back to back Champions Leagues. I think. I'm not doing bad with back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. Yeah, back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. So that's that's not too bad. And we always beat PSG. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. Uh, um, okay, sorry. Back to the... Uh, we don't know. Brilliant. If you look at the run, I think... No. Uh, mm, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Team players, everyone knows that we need to keep working hard and put together a good sequence of results. Uh, anyone we're going to pick on? No. They've even got Kamara Kamara, who is great. I should have bought him, except for my team, he wouldn't have played. If I just compare him to Tall Nick, I wonder if he's as grumpy as Tall Nick. See, Tall Nick is a bit. They're, they're different. They're different. They're the same. They're great. Uh, no, it's fine. Right, okay. Oh dear. I'm a bit itchy due to hay fever. Um. But it's fine. Right. Oh, dear. This is a little, little spoiler for uh, funny names. It's Godwin Friday Easy. <laughs> and also Ibrahim Ibrahim. Um, but there you are. You'll see more of those later. Oh, funny stuff. Right. Uh, so where is this? Oh, it's at the new Camp. Great. I think I... Did I knock Barcelona out? No, Ben knocked Barcelona out. No, Ben lost to Barcelona. Oh, Christ. Who do I have in the Champions League? So I've got Arsenal, Hoffenheim, Olympiacos. Jesus. I tell you what, Arsenal are the best team we've played. And they just sat their manager. All right, so six, match six matches. 
I've not won half, but I have won half. They have a very good team. I'm gonna I'm gonna look look into it more obviously when they're they're actually um picked their team. But right, so Tornick Oh, he's lacking much fitness as well. What's Esparza doing? Esparza's fully fit, but he's not oh, God, that's crap. I I shouldn't play a Ridgy because he's not fit. How does he compare? Tall Nick. I'm gonna play Tall Nick. I'm gonna have a Ridgy and a Sparza on the bench. I think that's good. Right, goalkeepers, Wesley and Thingy Bob. These guys Empreneur is getting worse for some reason. Dirty Sanchez got an 8.4 in the last three games, but Nero is still better, so he's playing. Um, I hope we play better than we did in the last Bloody Cup final, because that wasn't very good. Uh, Ali Smear, as predicted, is fine. Uh, Zay Louise, and let's get rid of Miranda off the bench, and let's put Heskey on the bench, because this is a proper big boys game. Um... <sighs> See, I do, you know, I've not put Marcelo Bossi in there because I just know I can rely on Zé Luis, even if, uh, I mean, they're very, very similar, very close. Zé Luis more likely to get an assist, Bossi more likely to score. It's much of a muchness. Zé Luis is more flexible as well. I think he's actually a better winger. Um, but there we are. Right. Uh, I am going to take a sip of water, or more correctly, squash. <clears throat> ah, lovely stuff. That actually worked. Yes. Okay, right. Take a deep breath, because I've actually taken some decisions here. Whew. Let's go play AS Monaco. Whew. Right. Alfredo Urbina. I know that he's Chilean and a fullback. Right, so they've got... Oh, God, they've got some good players. Crap. So, Kamara Kamara is actually great. I didn't sign him because he was inconsistent, and he shoved that off, and now he's great. Uh, Enrique is, you guessed it, formerly of this parish. Um, I feel like I need a jingle for that. So, uh, Reynaud is fine. I think I used to, uh, he used to play for me. Oh, he did. <laughs> uh, he used to also used to play for me. Um when I was France manager. Campos is good. Emre Chan is getting old. He's joining Hoffenheim. What? For, oh, no money. Oh, well, he's a reasonable player still. Crown of Vita, you need to absolutely hammer in. Otherwise, he's never going off. He's going off the pitch on his shield. Shutov is okay, but I don't want to hammer him particularly. Emmanuel Mamana, formerly of this parish, is good, but there's no need for that sort of business. Um, and Gale, uh, he used to play for Arsenal, didn't he? Yeah. He's, I mean, he's really good going forward, basically. He's great at passing and crossing and not so great at defending and that sort of malarkey. So we need to close him down, really. Might even kick him a bit because having an expansive fallback is not good. Um, so Lozano used to play for me. He is, of course, very good. Americo Suarez is okay. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, I, I vaguely do. Yeah, he's fine. Um, Carrasco is of course a real player um, who currently plays in China but used to play over here uh, actually used to play for Atletico Madrid I think I'm right in saying that Jean-Baptiste Grand is I tell you what I've said this before and it's affected me I was going to say he's rubbish but a pacey fullback just somehow they don't even need to be any good but they get in positions and then if you don't close them down they get you in trouble right here we go. Here we go. If you can pick up where you left off in the last match, you'll get your hands on that trophy. Yes, you will. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Oh, the midfield didn't like that very much. I have faith in you. Good. Tornick, cheer the fuck up, you lanky motherfucker. Sorry, I get a bit more sweary, I think, as the pressure rises. Right, okay, so this is for... The completion of this season, the the realization not of an unbeaten season, but of a very very good season, a high goal scoring season, and oh that's not looking good. 
Oh, what a tackle. Oh, strong Pete. That is why you're a world-class centre-back, my friend. Oh, not liking this. Well done, Wesley. I, I like how the pitch is a different size, so I actually have to adjust my thing. Right. We've not really done anything so far. We've had a number of... It's been 25 minutes, guys. Oh. Oh. Well, he fell over. Memphis. What are we doing? Pogba. Tolnik. Oh, he's hit the bar again. Oh, he's offside anyway. Mate, stop hitting the bar. Right. This is... I'm going to go attacking for the end of the half because we've not done anything. And that's frustrating me. Aralaga Tolnik. He's hit the bar again. Why? Why does he keep doing this to me? I'm going to take him off. Because he's, he's tired and bad. And I hate him. Stop hitting the bar, tall Nick. Oh, you lanky bastard. Could I call him a lanky motherfucker? Right, fine. We're going to chill out, even though we've not got what we wanted. I'm going to take off tall Nick because he's poor. I am I mean... Right, let's take... Oh. Let's take proper stock of who I should bring on. Esparza or Origi. Oh, Esparza. It's got to be Origi. Because he is, he is the man, to be fair. He is the man. Whew, okay, that's a big... I feel like that's a big sub, but of course Origi plays on that side. Good. Right, let's have a team talk now. Uh, I'm going to go aggressive. This, I tell you what, there's the one time where we were playing normally but we hadn't scored and I didn't go aggressive at half time and I think that was one of the games we lost and then the next time we were in a similar sort of situation I went aggressive and we won like 5-0 yeah it was half time it was 0-0 actually genuinely I remember this now it was half time it was 0-0 I went aggressive and we won 5-0 so I'm doing it again even though it's a cup final I'm also going to tell one Gil to chill out a bit just so he looks a bit less fired up no, he still looks fired up. Great. <laughs> right, so I've absolutely... I've thrown the kitchen sink at them. I've aggressively said I'm far from pleased with what I just saw from this team. Oh, let's see what happens. Come on, it's the Champions League final. Yes? No. Oh, Milton. Milton's a good guy. He needs a goal. Oh, strong Pete. Oh, yeah, we did this one great um, goal where, I'll tell you, while well, it's not, nothing's happening. Uh, we managed to ping the ball in. Someone headed it across to someone who then accidentally headed it across. To someone who, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the crowd are chanting Aralaga's name. The assist from Origi. The legends unite. Yes, Origi. He just knows where Aralaga's going. And they're all standing there with their arms up in the air like mugs idiots good now don't yes i like this pogba just good use of the ball aralaga smacks it i mean uh, uh george alagaya smacks it when he needs to aralaga is tearing them a new one origi cross it in mate oh good no decent defending let's keep the pressure on though memphis what can you do samir one ton gill oh great clearance but Keeping it up. Look at that pressure. They crumble. They crumble under the pressure. Yes. Right. That's beautiful. That was great stuff. One time Gil just lays it to Aralaga and he's just too quick and technical. They just can't get near him. Great stuff. Right. They've made some subs. Let's also make some subs. Um, right. Who's tired? Who's not doing well? Let's look at the team. So Pogba's tired and he's not doing great. But one time Gill's on a yellow, so let's bring Pogba off. And uh, let's bring on Guido Hoyos, who's played, to his credit, Guido Hoyos has played stunningly this season. He's played really, really well. Right, we don't really want one time Gill sent off. Obviously, we don't want anyone sent off, but go on, Hoyos, go on. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot. And that's a penalty. Brilliant. Kayo, who's about a foot shorter than um, Strong Pete Aralaga for the hat trick. Yes, please. He's the best player in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have a song for that. But he's amazing. Oh, dear. Yes. Right. Who's next for substitution? I would take Aralaga off because he's a bit tired because I think someone's just kicked him. 
But what I'm going to do is stay super conservative and uh, take one time get off so he doesn't get sent off. And let's put um, Emperor Nero there. Dirty Sanchez there. Perfect. Now we just manage the game out, maybe create a few more chances and don't let them have anything. That's the idea. That's what we're doing. We're winning 3-0. It's a Champions League final. This is what we do. Aralaga and a Ridgey too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Right. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, enjoy the success, lads. Yes, I'm elated. They're elated. We got an assist from Strong Pete, an assist from Wonton Gill, an assist from Divock Origi, and a hat trick from one Harry Beer. Um, what a legend. What a legend of the sport. What a legend of Liverpool. What a great guy. I love him. I I think I I think I do love him. And he likes Cholton. Yeah, he once fired Cholton to a ridiculous like I think Chop nearly got promoted that year just because of Aralaga. Anyway, let's not get carried away. He cost me 1.7 million, and I even got that money back from Burnley. <laughs> oh, what an outrage! Oh, what a lovely war! Oh, what a joyous thing! Oh, oh, oh! Apparently, we shouldn't have got a penalty. Well, that serves us good for the last one that made us lose. So good, we get one in the Champions League final. That's fair. <laughs> Our Laga top scorer, of course he was, because he's a legend. Any milestones? I didn't really look at that. I don't really tend to look at that. Oh, and they've got Tim O'Horn. I didn't even Tim O'Horn. Excuse me, Tim O'Horn. Um, yeah, so they had loads of my old players. Gunchuruk. I don't even know who he is. Um, great. Oh, it's a shame Lozano didn't make it. On I did like Lozano. He's not that great anymore. I think they got off Arsenal, who got off me. <laughs> Someone clearly got got ripped off. Seven mil, thirty five mil. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, what a victory! Is this this is going to go on for like an hour. Oh, I'm really sorry. I mean, I'm sorry, not sorry, sort of thing. A wet evening at Camp Nou in May. Well, I suppose maybe April showers. Uh, one hour lager. Lived the dream. I mean, he literally lived the dream. He's got a hat trick in the Champions League final and then raised the trophy. What a legend! Uh, victorious Liverpool celebrate unbelievable sex tuple. It's actually a sep tuple because I won the league as well. So that's just a, it's a cup sex tuple, but it's a league and cup sep tuple. So yeah, I I maybe do deserve some plaudits for winning seven trophies in one season. Maybe just so, you know, just saying. How about that? Uh, we've won the Champions League four times in a row. Good. We have lost three games this season, which does anger me slightly, but not enough. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed to bits. I am chuffed to bits. The players were fantastic. I'm just going to answer everything really. Like, everything was great. Well, apart from, I don't like saying other people. Who's, who's rumouring to buy him? Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, as if. The fans love him. Uh, yeah. Uh, Emery Chan, oh, I, don't, I don't care for Emery Chan. Um, it was very good. Right, bonuses. Dave Dodds got 190. He got actually he got 92k from me. Uh, oh, that's that's a oh dear. Oh, I'm getting a call from the missus. I think I'm I'm just gonna ignore it, but like just quickly. Whoops. Um, and Chris Ronaldo who gets an 80k. So Dave Dodds, who actually I just got a call from Dave Dodds. That's so funny. He got 91k from uh, the Premier League win, and he's got 100, uh, 180. Oh god, 181k from the Champions League. Great. Uh, Liverpool win again for fans. I did say for the fans. Oh no, that was in the FA Cup. Well, yeah, there we go. Liverpool happy. How happy are they with this one? A whole 75%. My god. Uh, Gerard declares something good. Milton reveals Hamburger Fury. <laughs> and they went on to win 3-0. Oh, for the love of God. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm just recording a video. What, what would you like, Dave?
I had it for lunch. Jolly good. Okay. All right. Uh, it's fine. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Love you, Dave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so I just made my wife say, love you, boss. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention to her that she got 181 grand bonus. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, there we go. So Liverpool get a lot of stuff. Juan Aralaga and Memphis got the assists. Lovely, lovely stuff. A great day for the club. And that that is about as good as it's going to get, to be fair. Um, I think now what I'm going to go for is some funny names. Now I've, now I've comp I basically completed Football Manager. Completed it, mate. But we don't complete it without having a laugh. That's what you get here. You get a laugh. Uh, I'm going to be have to be quite mentally agile, I think, because some of these are quite obscure, and I really made myself laugh by like making up silly stories that made them fit. Having opened like that, uh, that's a bit dire, isn't it? Um, so, so no die bold. It's yeah. The answer to the question: Do you want to, you know, live live a a long life as a coward? Like, no, Diebold. Or no A. No A, Diebold. Anyway, Diebold I thought was a funny name. So let's, let's kick off with that strength. Uh, this was the, the mashing together of um, two food titans, Heinz Muller. Um, Wilson Ratzimbazafi. Wilson Ratzimbazafi. Ratzimbazafi. Wow, man. Oh, no, well, he wouldn't even get that shouted because... Oh, it's a great save from Ratsin Basafi. Um, <laughs> uh, this is, the, you know, in, in an increasingly gender-fluid society, um, you know, people are, are, are worried about kind of, you know, whether, whether someone they're talking to is a man or a woman. And uh, some people don't like that. So if you check, you'll die. Check and die. I don't know. I don't know about that. I just made that up on the spot, and it wasn't very good. I got a bit distracted. Sorry, guys. Um, don't have an early bath. Have a layout bather. Oh God, they're getting worse. <laughs> ah, I can't find my wig. What? Maybe my pyromaniac son has something to do with it. Yeah, he burned a wig. That, was that better? I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to gauge. Um, right, Burke Kaplan. That's absolutely classic. His first name is Burke. Ridiculous. Stefan Flock. That's a bit funny. There's another Burke. Jürgen Burke. Robert Schnur. <laughs> Does your husband Schnur? My husband is Schnur. Um, Niels Spangenberg. I thought maybe that was a worse name than mine, but I'm I'm actually not sure. Uh, Enzo Camioni, uh, actually, it's not funny, but uh, at the time I put him on the shortlist, he was 14 and um, was six foot six uh, and weighed 13 and a half, over 13 and a half stone. And I know how Ben likes that, and I thought that would be funny. A 14 year old who's six foot six, absolutely insane. Um, Oliver Schindele, I thought it was a bit like a mix between um, when you cross Deli Alley and Schindler's List. Shindele. Um, yeah. What's that in that box? It's a dicko. Anyone? Oh, it's a dick in our box. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, well, there we go. That's what I found. I, I feel like people are saying to me right now, you go idiot. Uh, Ugo idiot. Um, that's still funny. This guy is called Scrap Gunnish, which seems silly. His first name is Scrap. Another Kamara Kamara, classic. Uh, what every car needs is an axle binder. Uh, Robert Roberts, it's an absolute classic. Galopo Eno, Galopo, what a first name. Galopo, time for tea. Uh, di <laughs> this is either Divin, so he's Divin Schneider, or, you know, he, he's a winger, so it could be Divin Schneider. Divin Schneider. 
I think that's funny. Uh, Norbert Gang. Fiston Paisley. <laughs> Fiston Paisley. Mental name. Absolutely insane. Uh, Christian Butgerite. I love that. Uh, Constantin Hartlieb. I thought that was quite nice because it's a bit like Lieb in, in German obviously means love. So it's like constant heart love. Um, but yeah, I think stuff like that. As well as I also think that Jen's tits is funny. So, you know, either way. Uh, Jürgen Volborn, I think, is actually quite good and is joining me. Super Des is just there, incidentally. These are my old guys. I'm signing Cherno Ba. Uh, that's not really funny. Uh, Michael Binder is actually coming. Um, all these guys as well. Oh, my goodness. So these are all the guys I'm signing. I'm not signing Dinko Verk. <laughs> Dinko. <laughs> what? Is that not even short for something? Oh, his name's just Dinko Verk. Vuk, Dinko Vuk. There's another Dumbadze, Alexandra Dumbadze, Pit Sacrus, Sac Pit. How's his first name? Pit. Ay ay ay. Again, more signings here. There's another good one. Oleg Suspicion. Suspicion. Why is he called Oleg Suspicion? Are they trying to sneak a spy into the Shakhtar Football Academy? Is this some sort of kind of Ukrainian-Russian conflict? Oh, dear me, Suspitsian. And also... Uh, <laughs> oh, what's what's wrong with your drink there? Oh, my cola is ill. My cola is ill? Oh, my cola is Oh, my cola is ill. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, yeah, Viktor Stashkov. I thought that was funny. Standard stuff. Um... Any more for any more? There's again Kamara Kamara. Tom Belcher. Yes, please. Back on solid ground with Tom Belcher. Um, these are just good people who are good at football. Uh, Cherubin Mayasi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Isn't that it's Ruben? Che, che, uh, yeah, someone reported Che Guevara for uh, sexual assault. Che Ruben Mayasi. Oh, dear me. Um, German dumbass. Or Duma, I guess. German dumbass. Uh, Bienvenue Balongo. What a name. Kempfer at the, Wester, the Leicester Academy. He's half Congolese. Bienvenue Balongo. Smashed it. Uh, Michael Miner is uh, one I thought, obviously, Michael, he could go... Um, Shorten his name to Mick, so it could be Mick Minor, which would, of course, refer to an Irish miner. Do you get it? Kind of. Um, Bernard Grice. Um, I just thought that was really... Bernard Grice. It just seems like a horrible name. Um, former Gentry, uh, Mr. James Hadland. Um, not anymore. Closely followed by Daniel Bottomer. So if you, if you pair... Uh, what was his name up here somewhere? Oh, no, I've lost him now. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, I've gone too far. Um, Tom Belcher. Tom Belcher and Daniel Bottomer playing at centre-back together. Love a bit of that. They pass it up to Ben Woon. I don't think he's even, like... You might presume that's an Asian name, but no, it's not. Or Korean, I guess you might. Sam Goods. That's what I answer when people ask me how I am. <laughs> yeah, as if. Kieran Corns. Struggling to play football, but he, he still manages it. Danny Daniels, absolute classic. Callum Slutes, great. Uh, Trayvon Ogilvy, I just a fan of Trayvon Ogilvy. That's really funny. Tim Lewis, classic. Uh, these are guys I'm signing. Um, <laughs> what what are you using your hands for? Oh, I just thought I'd get, you know use my my hands for a quick waz. Quick waz. <laughs> Anyone? I hope you're laughing. Uh, this is like a, a special version of a Wonder Kid. He's a, a, a Windle Kilder. <laughs> oh, God. And he's never going to be a, wind, uh, a, a Windle Kilder either because he's terrible. There, there's Godwin Friday Easy. Oh, Friday Easy. Ah. <laughs> Godwin Friday like Easy. Oh, God, I've lost it there. Um, I think I might have lost my mind also. Ibrahim, Ibrahim. There we go. Uh, if you look quickly at this one it looks like he's called Ricardo Yuri Nob 
Uh, he's not. It's Ricardo Uri Kobe, but it's very close. Um, Slizard Bodog sounds like a, a oh no, Sils Sis Zillard 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 Bodog. Anyway, it sounds friggin' ridiculous. Um, right, are these just these guys. I'm signing and Moroccan Bill, who's just a good guy. Uh, there we go. Butner. I am signing someone called Butner. I hope he's good. Um, oh, he looks, he looks all right. Decent, if inconsistent. Hopefully that will drop off. Um, any, anyone, any more for any more? I think we, oh, there he is. Andrea Pepperoni. Yes, please. And <laughs> this is a great one. Arson Arkangelski. Archangelski. So he's called Arson Archangelski. What? What? And Arson as well as a first name. Madness. Um Titi Ojong like that. Um I don't think there are any more. We'd we're gonna have to finish on Titi Ojong. Uh oh god, he can play midfield with Jen's tits. <laughs> <laughs> Yen's tits, not Jen's tits. Oh, God. Um, so that's it. Let's finish very quickly. This has probably been over an hour. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. I think I'm going mad. Uh, but you know what? I'm winning at Football Manager. So that's what's more important. Um, Premier League was a breeze. 17 points, 142 goals. 17 points above Man United is what I meant to say. Um, no one can catch me, even on their best day. Uh, Club World Championship was easy. Uh, Champions League was slightly harder. Super Cup was pretty straightforward. FA Cup was actually pretty straightforward this year, despite the fact I lost last year. Capital One Cup was good. And Community Shield was not important and a long time ago, but we still won it. That is seven trophies. Yes. Love it. Um, I'm clearly enjoying this a lot. Uh... I can hear Dave, Dave Dodds coming home now, uh, so I'll finish the recording and, and let him know about his 181k bonus. Brilliant stuff. Okay, thanks very much for bearing with and listening to my slow descent into madness and winning. Bye!